friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another tutorial on kubernetes so in this tutorial uh, for kubernetes for beginners we are going to see about kubernetes config maps so what we will do in this tutorial we will see about what is config maps in kubernetes we'll also see what are the different use cases for config maps and also we will see how to create config maps through values or files or using manifest files so we'll see it, it everything in a complete demo like how to create config maps using direct value uh, for the data or you can also use some files to uh, map to config files you can also create a manifest file for config file uh, config map and then we'll uh, create config maps with that okay so also we will see uh, what is the usage of config maps in pod so once you create the config map we will see how to use make use of that in the pod so that will be the complete uh, agenda for this tutorial so let's get started with the what is config maps in kubernetes so in, in simple term uh, we can say config map is an api object uh, which is used to store non-confidential data in key value pairs so what uh, you have to be very clear is it is to store some data in key value pairs so that's the main objective of config map and this config maps can be used in pods as environmental variable or command line argument or configuration files in the volume so that's a, those are some of the uses of uh, this config map so which we will see it in the upcoming part of this tutorial okay and uh, one thing which you have to be very clear is like config map does not provide secrecy or encryption so if you are looking for uh, you know, a secret or encrypted uh, data then you have to use uh, secrets in kubernetes so this topic is only about config map not about secrets okay so also one you have to be you know able to understand is like config map cannot use uh, to store high uh, data or you know huge uh, data volume so you have to be very careful or you have to understand that the data stored in config map cannot exceed one megabyte okay so that's one of other point which you have to be able to understand from this uh, topic now let's see what are the different use cases for config map which we discussed just uh, previously so just uh, reiterating for you like config maps can be used as environmental variables for containers that's one of the scenarios and also we can use config map as command or arguments inside a container and also we can use uh, config maps as a file in read-only volumes so these are some of the scenarios or use cases for config map so before I get into the actual demo of this uh, topic of config map which we will see a complete process a step-by-step -step process how to do this in a kubernetes setup so I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button also like my videos share and give your feedback so now let's get started about the demo so what we are going to use I'm going to use a mini cube setup so if you see a mini cube uh, status you can see the mini cube uh, is running okay so let me clear out my screen so what we have to do is we need to create config map right so before that let me show you uh, what are the config maps already available so I can use kubectl get cm or you can even write the config map so this will list out you know the config map in the default namespace if you want to get uh, you know, all the details then it should be all namespace So now you can see it has uh, listed down all the config maps in this uh, Kubernetes cluster. So default is this one and we have other namespaces as well. Right. So let me clear out the screen. And uh, also to understand the you know, API version also the kind you can use kubectl uh, explain cm or config map. So it will give you the details about uh, what is the kind which we are going to use and the version which is the v1 which we'll be using in the manifest file so let me clear out this screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a config uh, map using you know the direct file values 
so I'm just going to run this command if you see I'm going to use kubectl create and uh, I'm going to uh, tell that I'm going to create a config map and the name of the config map is config map hyphen example hyphen values and the data which is I'm going to literally giving it in this command itself so I'm going to use this uh, argument uh, from literal and this is the key value pair which is car equal to Ferrari and uh, country equal to Indian so this is the data uh, for this config map so I'll just run it so you can see the config map is created so let me go and get the config map details now you can see this config map is created right and uh, you can see it just created seven second ago now you can uh, describe this config map using kubectl uh, describe uh, CM and you can just uh, give this name so now we can see the data for this config map is car is Ferrari and country is India right so that's what we have given literally from here so that's the one way of uh, creating config map now let's see the other way like you can create a file and you can save the uh, data in it and then we can call that file for creating the config map so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file called uh, test uh, config map dot properties. So okay, so I will just run this and uh, let me create uh, you know uh, the key value pair which is uh, similar to car is Ferrari and uh, I'll uh, write country India. So that's the key value pair I'm just saving this file now I can uh, create a config map using uh, this uh, file okay so in order to create the config map using the this file name what I have to do is I have to run a command in this format so the initial statements are similar so we are going to use kubectl create config map and the name of the config map this time I'm using test type and config config map so rather than using uh, from literal I'm going to use from file and this file is located in the current location so that's why I just put dot slash and uh, file name okay the file name is test config dot properties so I will just run that so you can see the config map is created so now if I run kubectl uh, get cm you can see one more config map is created right so uh, if you want to delete this config map you can use kubectl delete config map and the uh, config map name okay so I'm just deleting the both one so let me clear out the screen kubectl get cm now you can see I have only the default uh, config map okay so when you create the config map if you want to create on different namespace you can you do that also but the config map on the same namespace is what which you can use it for the pod. If the config map is on a different namespace, you cannot create uh, make use of that in a different namespace for a pod. Okay. Now let's see how we can write a, a YAML or manifest file for config map. So as I shown you, like in the explain uh, for config map, the API version is v1 and the kind is config map and uh, in the meta I'm going to give a name like test config map which is the name for this config map and the data which we have used similar like we are going to use a key value pair car and Ferrari okay so that will be the key value pair for uh, this data so that's pretty simple right so you have seen uh, the manifest file which we have done it for ports deployment replica set so I'm not going to explain much about that so it's just a simple uh, thing here so you just need to copy this and I'm going to create a, a file so I'm going to create a file called uh, config map dot yaml and I'm going to paste this content over there okay and I'm just going to save that file so and I'm going to use that for uh, creating a config map so in order to create the config map you need to use kubectl create and hyphen f and the name of the yaml file which is config map dot yaml and you can just press enter and you can see the config map is created now if I go to kubectl get cm you can see there is a config map uh, created right 
and if you can describe it git ctl describe cm and this config map uh, you should be able to see the complete detail like the data which we have entered right so that's a pretty simple process now to create so now we have seen three ways you can create config map right by literally giving the value in the command line itself or you can use a file or you can use a manifest file now let's see how we can make use of this uh, config files in a pod so i'm just going to show you like a manifest file which i have just written for the pod so you can see the api version one and the kind is pod and the name for the pod and uh, the container i'm going to use an http container and uh, you can see this section which we are uh, defining like i'm going to call uh, this config map for an environment so in this container i want to send some environmental variables and the content will be coming from this config map so we are going to use this uh, uh, reference config map reference and the name of the config map is test config map so this has to be very clear which config map which you want to use it for this part uh, so the different uh, what we do are doing in this uh, you know uh, part is like we are going to get the complete uh, config map in this uh, uh, you know uh, container so we are going to load the complete config map when you call like this so we are not uh, specifically calling any keys uh, like for car we have some values right so we are not calling any specific values we are just going to load the complete config map to this uh, container okay So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another file called uh, maybe config uh, map uh, pod dot jml okay and I'm going to insert that content over here so the one which we just uh, return in that sublime text editor so I'm just going to save it and I'm going to create a pod okay so apply f config map pod dot yaml okay so I'm just going to run it now you can see the pod is created so you kubectl get pods now you can see the pod is getting created so let's just wait for the pod to be created yep now you can see the pod is created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to kubectl exec and i'm going to log into this container okay so i'm going to log into this container zero okay writing the typo here so it should be Q. so if i log into this container using this command kubectl exec it config map uh, i know the the pod name and the bash okay so you can see now we are inside the container or pod and you know you can see we are now and if i check print env you can see it lists down all the environmental variable inside this uh, container now you can see we have something called country india and car ferrari this is inside the pod or inside the container okay so what you can see is like these environmental variables are coming from the config map which we have used inside the pod manifest file so this is one way of using the you know, uh, config file so where you can import the whole data into this uh, container so let me exit out of the screen okay let me clear out the screen and uh, uh, I'm going to delete this uh, pod and I'll create uh, let me just uh, get uh, the pod first so let me delete this pod and I'll create a new one in a different form whale so that we just pick only the keys uh, specific value out of the data which we have used okay so let me delete uh, the pod okay so the pod is deleted so let me just show you how we can write the uh, no other way how we can select uh, the specific value uh, out of the config map now if you see this uh, manifest file we have written almost the same uh, way like uh, the name uh, of the container or the pod okay the name of the container and we are using the image now if you see the differences I'm going to call like environmental the parameter right it's not environment from which I'm loading everything and I'm going to give a name for this uh, value or the environment, uh, environmental value okay so it's going to be car and this car the value is getting from you know this config map so i'm going to call a uh, value from the config map reference key and it's going to be the name of this config map and the key value should be car huh? so what it actually will happen is 
like inside the container you will have a environment variable, variable as car and the value should be the value of car which will be Ferrari so car equals Ferrari it's not like car equal to car okay so the key uh, which we have set inside the config map car which have a value called Ferrari which will be mapped to this uh, environment variable okay similar way for country uh, it will be taking the value from country okay so let me just copy this content and uh, let me uh, create a new uh, file for uh, creating a pod so let me create a file called uh, config map pod1.yaml okay and i'm going to insert this content over there and i'm going to save this and let me create a new pod kubectl apply hyphen f config map pod1.yaml now you can see the config map is uh, sorry the pod is created so kubectl get pod sorry there's a typo here so it should be pod so now we can see the pod is running so similar way like i'm going to log in uh, to this uh, pod or container so kubectl exec it the pod name and bash so now we can see we are inside the pod okay so let me use the print env again now this time if you see the environment the variable so the country is the name which we have given in the yeah, uh, manifest file right and it has taken the value for uh, the country which is we set in the config file and the same here so the environment variable car and the value is taken from the config map so that's another way like we can set the config map to uh, use it in the pods so i i hope this is very clear like uh, the two different ways we can use and this can be also used in a different other ways so i just want to show you some basics of uh, config map so I hope uh, we showed you like how to create config map, how to make use of config map for the pods. So that is all uh, for this tutorial. I hope uh, this is an informative tutorial for you about config map. So if you are uh, not subscribed to my channel or if you want to see more uh, videos for my channel, click on the subscribe button and also like my videos, share and comment. And I appreciate you for, uh, thank you for watching for my channel and uh, keep supporting.